Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard, and this is Random Street Theater, and I have just seen Black Friday the movie. It's a thing. It's a horror movie. And before I get into that, let me all remind you that for every thousand subscribers I get, I do purchase one of these bracelets from the company 4Ocean. 4Ocean pulls a pot of trash out of the ocean every time I do that. I also do other charity work, like purchasing these medals from the Conqueror community. Each one of these means five trees were planted in my name, and I actually had to get off my ample derriere and do something. And then I uh, support an orphanage. Yes. I also will have pledged to purchase... Not only for every thousand subscribers I pull upon a trash out of the ocean, I symbolically want to adopt an animal for every 10,000 subscribers I get from the uh, World Wildlife Fund. So yes, trying to save the world here, like the characters in many of the movies I, I watch. Anyway, so what do you have with Black Friday? Bruce Campbell plays a store manager on Black Friday when an alien invasion takes place. But it's not an alien invasion with spaceships. It's an alien invasion like the alien invasion from Slither. Where only these ones are a lot more noodly. In fact, I, I really believe a lot of noodles, a lot of noodles were used in this movie. It is a very noodle, noodle-driven zombie movie. So yes, everybody who gets uh, alienized gets all noodly. You learn that in the first five minutes of the film. And then people are going, no, it's just crazy people on Black Friday. And then, no, no, everybody is running away from the, uh, the zombies and barricading themselves in the back of the store. And this is a movie that speaks, speaks a great deal to the current economy. There's no mention of the coronavirus, although as this is an infection that you get through the mouth, it's not a they bite you and you get sick sort of a thing. There is... There is more of a uh, coronavirus feel, and, you know, the workers are facing layoffs. Yeah. So, again, this movie was not intended to be good. You have to go into this going, yes, I want to watch a cheesy horror movie. There is not a huge amount of gore, but there's plenty of fun special effects and, um, you know, noodles. A lot of ramen in this movie, but, uh, yeah. So, Bruce Campbell does not Bruce Campbell. He plays a completely different old man character. He says a few things about management that you might want to listen to if you're a manager. He chews the scenery for a while. Ultimately, no character in this film is really well developed. You know, are there, are there hot girls in this movie? There are attractive women who never show you anything. This movie is really PG-13. And I don't mean like the I have clout and I can show nudity PG-13 of, uh, uh, of movies like Titanic. I mean it's PG-13. It's, it's, it's the kind of movie you see on TV. It is very much a made-for-TV movie with slightly better special effects. So, yeah, I mean, again... I enjoyed this movie. You know, uh, it was... I think it was online. I don't even remember how I watched it now. Did somebody give me a screener? I can't remember. Anyway, so I was watching this movie on my laptop. I didn't stop it once. I got all the way through it. Fun little film. Otherwise, you know... <laughs> intentionally terrible movie. But yes... I would put it on your on my watch list. I don't know if you would put it on your watch list, but it's it's is this the kind of movie you want you like is the question. Are you a Bruce Campbell fan? Yes. Put this on your watch list. Not high, it's not something you need to watch. It's something you should put low on your watch list, but it should be there. Are you a fan of schlocky science fiction movies? Yes. Put this low on your watch list. It should be on your watch list, but I mean, just, you know, watch it eventually. Anyway, it's just my opinion. Love to hear yours. Comments below. I'm Richard.
Salutations, Plebeians! It is I, Stephen Miller, emissary and advisor to his dark orange lordship and the real President Donald Trump, reminding you to comment on and like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, or I will suck out your eyes and feed them to my two tarantulas, Meredith and Red Pill!